Hello children, here we are in Conwell Church. I'm Heather and this is my friend Scruffy. Where are the children? Well, sadly Scruffy, the children can't be in church at the moment because of the virus. So, we're going to talk to that camera. What's the matter? You're shy, Scruffy, it'll be all right. You just talk to me, all right? Now then. So now we're in the season of Advent. Scruffy, what are you looking at? Your mobile phone? Someone sent you a message? Yes, well, sending a message by mobile phone is a way of talk, talking to somebody when you can't go and see them, isn't it? Sending messages we can do in different ways, can't we? Can you think of another way in which we can send message to people? Yes, we can send them a letter. You don't send many letters, do you, Scruffy? Have you sent any letters to anyone this year? No. Well, maybe at Christmas you can write a thank you letter to somebody for a present you've received. You like that idea? All right. So, to send messages to people, we can send a text or a letter. Any other ways, Scruffy? You could send a courier. You mean like a delivery van? Like sending a parcel? Yes, you could send a letter with a courier, couldn't you? Yes, any other ways of sending a message? You could send me, sure. Yes, you could send me. And you could send someone else to give a person a message. Well... Do you know, we're going to hear a story, and in this story, God had a message for two people. Let's see how God sent his message. Now, this is a story that we often hear in the weeks leading up to Christmas. Mary was an ordinary girl from a town called Nazareth. Today, however, had not been an ordinary day. It started as usual... She'd washed the pots and swept the house. But as she was busy making bread, suddenly the room filled with light. Mary covered her eyes and wondered what this could be. Someone was standing in front of her. Don't be afraid, said the angel. I bring you good news. God has chosen you for a special honour. You will be the mother of his son, the King of Israel, the Messiah. Mary was surprised and thought about this. Every Jewish girl would like to be chosen for this special job, but it was a great responsibility. She thought about Joseph, the man she was soon to marry, and she thought about her plans for the future. They would have to change. And then she gathered up her courage and said, Yes, I will do as God wants. That night Mary was worried about what Joseph would say. But a few weeks later he visited her. He had had a dream. God had a special job for him too. His task was to look after Mary and the baby. Together they planned for the birth of this child, this most precious of babies. Long before, God had promised that a special king would come. For years, people had waited, hoping and dreaming of this king who would bring God's peace and love. And now, he was coming at last. And Sophie has done some colouring for us of the angel talking to Mary. That's lovely. Thank you, Sophie, for sending that in. Scruffy, let's talk about the story. So when God had a message for Mary and Joseph, how did he send it? Yes, he sent an angel. That must have been amazing, mustn't it? Yes. And God told Mary and Joseph that he wanted them to look after a special baby, Jesus the Messiah. 
And Mary thought about it and she knew it would be difficult. But she said, yes, I will do as God wants. And Joseph did what God wanted too. And God has a plan for us all. Not the same as the plan for Mary and Joseph. But he wants us to live life his way. And so the question for us all is, will we say to God, yes, I will do as God wants. So, Scruffy, I think you better have a rest now because you're getting a bit excited about Christmas and it's not quite here yet, is it? So say goodbye to the boys and girls and you go and have a rest and don't spend too long on your mobile phone. In these weeks leading up to Christmas, it's called Advent, which is a time of looking forward. We remember that the Jewish people were looking forward to the coming of the Messiah, the King. And we're looking forward to the time when we will celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, and we celebrate that at Christmas. And we're also looking forward to when Jesus will come again. So now we're going to say a prayer. Andrew's going to say that prayer for us. So let's be quiet and talk to God. Father God, in this season of Advent, as we prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus, give us a longing to know you better. When our way seems dark, help us to trust you. May Jesus, the light of the world, be our guide. Amen. There's another way of sending a message, isn't there? And that's by email. We've sent an email to your parents and in it is an Advent colouring calendar and it has colour in it for every day in December. So I think you might enjoy that. Do send us a photo of what you've done. And we're all looking forward to the 20th of December when we're going to have you on the Tivity Play online. That would be great, I'm sure. Stay online now because at 10.30 we have morning prayer. But for now, God bless you all and goodbye from Cornwall Church. <laughs>